City After Dark. We're back in studio with Dr. Lauren Stryker to talk about health in the headlines. And this is adult nature, this conversation. Yes, not that is. the kids are up at midnight anyway, but just say it. <laughs> Be gentle with your genitals is something that you wrote about in your blog. Yeah. And it's something that actually was in the headlines a couple of months ago. Well, it, it really struck me that I was reading in, in the Journal of Urology about how many emergency room visits there oh. are specifically mm -hmm. for genital Injuries. But we're talking mm. men, right? We're, we're talking we're, men and, I mean, and we're not women? talking. We're, gonna get, we're gonna get there. But we're not talking just. We're not talking about sexual injuries. You know, we're talking about other life things that your genitals get in the way. So let's talk about the guys. Now that's, wait, hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Now that's something that every guy oh. would love to brag about. Oh yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's so, hard. It was, they couldn't get it out of the yes. way. It yes. was just so it's in the way. I mean, this, I was golfing. I have to give you a couple of numbers here because this is really astonishing. Okay. There were sixteen thousand mishaps. <laughs> resulting in genital injuries serious enough to require a trip to the emergency room. Now, keep in mind, this is the tip of the iceberg, because people don't go to the emergency room with this stuff unless they really can't stop the bleeding, or it's really bad, because otherwise they're just going to take care of it at home. Seventy percent of the injuries were in men. Mm. And the majority of injuries were sports related, you know, the baseball bat, they weren't wearing the protection, all that kind of stuff, kind of expected. Okay. And the older guys, actually, it was straddle injuries, slipping out of the bathtub, falling, you oh. know, ooh, that's bad. Uh, I mean, and then, what, what, what is going to the ER going to do if you, and the... I mean, like, what, doesn't it just have to take time Sometimes to heal? Sometimes you need surgery, oh, yeah. depending oh. on how bad things are. And then, and you know why this will get you to the ER. We hope you don't know, Ryan. There's the old zipper problem. Oh, something about Mary. Yeah. Have you guys seen that movie? There yeah. were... 1,212 zipper accidents that took men to the oh, ER. I can't right guys now. Guys, cringing right now. All right, so okay, guys, that's easy because now so we're going to talk about the ladies. Okay. okay. What bring? What brought the women to the emergency yeah. room? Yeah. Almost all of it had to do with grooming down there. Oh, I see. Exactly. Okay. So we had um, 1,089 incidents that were from self-inflicted cuts from grooming pubic hair. Mm. That, go, that goes to the ER, 1,089. We're, we're talking cuts, burns, dyeing that didn't go quite right. You know, you want the shades to match the carpet. They dye down there? You get a little kinky, you know. Uh, oh, my God, because there's gray hair? And you don't want to give away? You want to spice it up in the bedroom, maybe. You want the you know? curtains to match the sheets? Yeah. Well, sometimes uh, you don't. I, I had, this is a true story. This woman, her husband didn't know she wasn't a true blonde, and she was bleaching, and she left it on a little bit too long and had quite the burn. I mean, I had to catheterize and put her in the I hospital. I should not laugh. It was bad. Mm. But the funny thing is, funny, the funny thing is, is when I saw her a few weeks later, she was brunette top and bottom. Mm. Yeah. Okay. See, they never had any of these problems in the 70s, you know? Well, and a lot of women are going hairless. Yes. Right. Is that exactly. kind of like well, that's good? exactly what's causing these injuries. So they should them. not go here. Well, no, if they they're going to do it. Landon, <laughs> <laughs> listen up. Okay, Ryan. he's giving you some clues. <laughs> The, the question really is, is this a do-it-yourself project or do you leave it to the professionals? Hey, I got a business idea. I bet you do. <laughs> Care to share? <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, imagine, imagine having starting the business that you help people with this project. Well, they, they do have those businesses. They have yeah. waxing salons yeah. in every corner. I was thinking, you know, oh, home visits. Home. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, did you ever wonder okay. when you go to the salon what's going on behind the door that you think it's the eyebrows? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. Painful. Mm -hmm. necessarily. Painful. Yeah. All so right. Be, be gentle with your genitals. Mm-hmm. Where do you purchase the dye kit? <laughs> There's actually one um, you can buy. Oh, what's that called? Safe? What's safe? I mean, yeah, anything you have to be careful. But they actually sell them online. And if, for the really party special thing, they have, like, pink and orange. and. Oh. You can only imagine the things that are out there. Mm. Sounds like that you, you might have to called, talk after this. And there's something called kitty carpet if things don't go like they're supposed to for the cover uh -huh. up. Yeah, there is. <laughs> All right, educational tonight on Windy City After Dark. Hey, uh, before we let you go, Doctor, uh, one of our interns that is new to our show, uh, we found out that you actually <laughs> delivered her. I delivered Marina. Yes. And, yeah, and you know, it's funny because I delivered I don't know how many thousands of babies. Uh -huh. I don't remember everyone. I remember Marina. Why birth. do you remember her so special? You know what? I mean, honestly, 
at that time, there wasn't anything special about Marina other than that she was born to her mother, who I knew very well, and we've been through a lot together, and her aunt and the whole family, Aww. and I delivered her cousins, and so this was a family that I knew, and when I heard she was here, when she introduced herself, I'm like, oh my God, of course I remember oh, you. I remember oh. the first person to say you, thank you, Dr. Stryker. Thanks for watching Wendy City After Dark. We'll see you tomorrow at 11. You're wonderful.